So let's get this out of the way right at the beginning. Steam OS is not and never will be the best gaming Linux distribution ever. Like that's just not going to be it. It's not what it's designed for. And I'm going to just show you some things right now. Uh, first off, you can try Steam OS on your desktop right now in a portable environment using like Wines app by Luke Short. Amazing. Absolutely love it. So try that out. If you really want to see it, uh, don't install it on your main system. Obviously, just throw it on like a USB drive or whatnot, and you can kind of get a gist of what Steam OS is. And this is even an improvement of what Steam OS actually will be on the desktop, because most of these packages in this immutable file system that Valve's created is simply old, like this right here, five month old Firefox. Come on. I mean, that's not an actual desktop. Like anybody part of the PC master race is never going to look at that and go, okay, yeah, that's going to be my gaming distro. So let's immediately push this away. And now let's get on the desktop and show you what I think is the best gaming distro. Or if you're just coming to Linux and you want to try out a gaming distro, have the most compatibility and the best experience this is really what you should be using. So in the past, I've recommended Arch, I've recommended Debian, uh, and in some cases Fedora as well, but I'm actually gonna recommend Nobara. As someone coming to it, it has some of the greatest tweaks I've ever seen when it comes to gaming. We're specifically focusing on gaming today because I've recommended a lot of base systems. Like I usually say, just use Fedora, Debian, or Arch, depending on your needs, and I've done many videos over that. But Numbaro is a really good template of all the different tweaks you can make to have the most optimal gaming uh, thing. And, and it's run by Glorious Egg Roll, which makes Proton GE, which increases the compatibility of so many games. Well, Nobara takes that a little bit further and gives you even more compatibility. Now, Nubara is based on Fedora, and most of the repositories and packages come from Fedora, but there's a lot of optimizations done. And if we come down here, it is uh, has two spins, really, GNOME and KDE. The official one uh, has like a highly modified GNOME that Glorious Egg Roll likes to use. If you like the default GNOME, it has a spin of that. And then you have the default KDE. Now look at the bug fixes and why I'm actually recommending this, because a normal user really can't do all this. I mean, you have to recompile the kernel, the Linux kernel every time it's updated to include all these patches that he's doing. And these patches are pretty extensive. F-Sync and, and a lot of these other ones do give you gaming improvements and it's amazing distribution. Funny enough, I actually converted uh, my Fedora install to use a lot of his repositories because I didn't want to do all this work. Hey, hats off to Glorious Egg Roll on this. I think uh, there is nobody that can even get close to competing when it comes to a gaming distro, much less you get Valve in the room and I, I've, I label them not even in my top 10. So that's really why I'm recommending this. Now you can go through here and if you have like a Debian based system, an Arch based system, whatever you you like, let's say you're a veteran Linux user and you're like, Titus, you're, you're spitting blasphemy at me. That's okay, keep whatever distribution you are, but look at what Glorious Egg Roll is doing over here and then do the same thing to your distribution. Now, obviously this is more for advanced users and if you can't do these things, well, just spin no bar if you're, you're big into gaming in Linux. But this right here, is extensive. So I really love what he's doing here and making gaming much more accessible to a newer user. And that is why it gets my recommendation. So let's boot in here. There are a couple little gotchas and things that I've noticed about Nubara. And maybe if Glorious Egg Roll watches this, um, you might take note and change some default settings of your one. There's one in particular I'm thinking of that I, I wish he would change. But this is everything here. I mean, it is kind of amazing on what all he's done and a lot of the repositories and sources are listed here. So if you do want to do this on, let's say a Fedora install like I did and just modify it to kind of steal his work and use it in my base Fedora install, you can. Uh, so with that, let's boot into Nobara. Now on start, I did a KDE spin. Now, if you're using GNOME, GNOME and Wayland work really well together. But one thing I noticed about his KDE spin, he uses Wayland by default. 
and I was noticing a lot of crashes with the KDE compositor. So I would change the desktop session down here to do X11, um, which you can see it by default, it's set to Wayland. You're going to run into problems. Just switch over to X11 uh, for those KDE users using this. That's the big criticism I have about it that really made it more functional for me. Uh, I did change a couple of theming by default. There's just stock KDE theme on here, so everything's light theme. I just usually come into here, go to appearance, and just change this out to like breeze dark and just some other little tweaks uh, as I see things like the desktop wallpaper and those types of things. You, you can go through, do everything you want. Yeah, one other tweak I really like to make, I think it's under desktop session under startup shutdown. I always usually say start with an empty session. He actually did this change by default, which is great. Uh, but if you do use KDE in another uh, distribution, this is one setting I wish everyone would make by default. But you're restoring the last session time. Sometimes you have these really long shutdown times and really long startup times when it's you're restoring sessions, which I think if you shut off your PC, don't restore a session. Come on, don't be that person. But other stock defaults, everything looks pretty we're pretty much right out of the box, just changing the desktop to over to breeze dark and then changing the wallpaper has been phenomenal for me. Uh, and if you launch into games, you can see right here, he has Lutris installed already, Proton Up, which is used for updating glorious um, egg rolls, Proton version, it's already installed. And then of course, Steam's here too. So you have everything at, at a good base. So when you go to Lutris.net and install your favorite game, it's just going to install and work. And same goes with Steam. You're going to have greater compatibility when you're loading into Steam. You can go ahead and go through your properties and set that uh, to Glorious Egg Rolls Proton because it's right here. And one thing I would say here is this is a tool I've never didn't even know existed until I installed Nubara. I love to just kind of keeping this on a virtual machine as I'm not using the base of Nubara, but I'm using a lot of the repos. Because I love a lot of things that he creates. Like Proton Up QT is actually a graphic installer for Proton Up, his his custom version. And you can install it in Lutris. And if I actually installed my Steam here, I could install it there as well. So this is something that's kind of interesting. I think it's relatively new, but you could actually switch your version of Proton using this tool. So I'm I'm keeping this around just because while I'm not gonna use the base. I love seeing what he's doing with it. It's something new. It's something that's different than almost every other spin I've seen. And it's a great base for any gamer out there. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. What is your favorite gaming distro starting off? I found this about a couple months ago. And after trying it for several months and trying a lot of his repos, I'm like, this is a superior gaming experience than pretty much any basic Linux distro that I've ever run. And it's going to always beat Valve. Mark my words on that one. You can quote me. You can take that to the bank. <laughs> so with that, I'll see you in the next one.